What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. So, those of you that have been with the channel since I started it, you know, it's a newer channel. I have my big channel, uh, Dubs V channel. Um, and then I started this one. And, um, you know, this is supposed to be my reaction channel. I enjoy doing the reactions. I have fun with them. We laugh together. A lot of you guys love it. Um, there was a second there where, where, you know, YouTube was really pushing the channel and a lot of people were seeing it all over the place and they were enjoying it. And I was getting a lot of compliments. And then next thing you know, YouTube decided to take a dump on this channel. Um, they don't push out anything that I do. And the worst part is everything I react to, everything I react to, um, they flag it. The only things that I'm not getting flagged for is are the Wes Watson videos, and I cannot do a Wes Watson video every day. So, um, since YouTube wants to act like that, and they they think they're gonna stop me from reacting today, we're gonna react to life. We're gonna react to I'm going to react to what's going on around me, what I see, um, and it's not gonna be. Um, anything that YouTube likes, then that's why they should stay the hell out of the way and let me react to videos. Um, I've reacted to videos that other people have reacted to. And they don't have a problem, but YouTube has a problem with me. So I want to talk about some of the things that I, I see going on, um, my point of view on them. And um, I'm sure that that my take on things um, isn't, I know for a fact, mainstream is a bit controversial to some people. Um, but it's, it's necessary that, you know, we have to, life has to have the yin and yang. We can't all be the same, right? Then what the hell are we for all the same? So I have to preface this by saying, for those of you that don't know that are new, I do not watch TV. I do not watch movies. Um, I believe there's way too much programming going on. There are, there are things going on in the world that, that are not being reported that are extremely important to our livelihoods, our way of living, um, our existence. And it's being um, brushed to the side and instead we're fed a bunch of bull crap. And it's to get us to think a certain way and accept certain stuff. And um, those of you that, that have a little understanding of me know I'm not that. Um, I think it's important that no matter what your leanings are politically, ideology, uh, ideologically, um, you, there should be questions. Questions should be asked. So, <clears throat> so I'm from Santa Barbara, and I'm always, you know, driving around uh, Santa Barbara, Ventura, Oxnard, <coughs> Camarillo, and. Um, you know, I, like a couple weeks, uh, not this weekend, I just passed the weekend before that. I went out to a party out in Somis and um, it happened to be in a lemon grove or lemon orchard. I don't know what the hell you call them. Right. And um, because I had been incarcerated the majority of my life, you know, and I've been out six years now, I think that um, those of us that were incarcerated when we when we get out of the house and we take a drive anywhere we actually pay attention to everything going on around us whereas people that have been out here their whole lives they tend to not um notice the scenery because they've seen it their whole lives it's something they've seen since they were a child so it's no different you know um and i'm noticing especially in ventura county um you know ventura county had a lot of um they grew a lot of stuff they grew a lot of food for us and I'm noticing just more and more land development, housing development, not land development, housing development. And I'm wondering why nobody is questioning that. I understand that the population is growing out of control all over the globe, right? But even though there's more people being born, why are we growing like this? with our housing instead of growing like this why are we growing why are we building where we grew food and it seems as, as if 
there's a certain element within the government that um, is pushing for more um, housing in areas where there was agriculture. You know, this country won World War II because we were self-sufficient. We made all our own stuff. We grew all of our own stuff at a rate that the enemy couldn't comprehend. The things that we were able to make, the quality was, was superior to everything else, right? We are at a place now where we outsource everything. The metal industry here in this country is 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 dead. It's dying. It's dead. It's I mean, we're relying on cheap ass metals from China and other places that really don't like us. So we already know that that's taking place and that has that has harmed us. Why the hell is nobody worried about these damn houses being built where our food used to grow? Is, is our agriculture in this country going to be to where we're going to rely on, on, on countries that hate us to feed us? You know, my ancestors. Look at, look at those of you that know, know. Those of you that don't. The so-called Aztecs. Aztecs is a, is a generic term. It was a bunch of different peoples that spoke the same language. It's similar to the word Hispanic. Anyhow. The Aztecs, the most dominant of them, uh, dominant of them were the Mexica. During the siege of Tenochtitlan, their, their island city, what happened was the way they really defeated them, the, 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 the disease that the Europeans brought did the most damage. But then what they did was they just did a siege. Nothing goes into the city. You starve them out and you make them surrender that way. So history always repeats itself. History teaches us lessons and we got to pay attention to. Building houses where we grew food. Where do we get our food from? I'd like to hear from people in the salad bowl in Salinas Valley. I would like to hear in, in Salinas, anywhere in that whole area. Are they building homes where they, got, where they used to grow food? Is it happening there too? Because if it is, the salad bowl feeds the majority of this country, not just California. Other states, I know for a second, well, I think they still are. They're pushing to, um, I remember when the, epi the pandemic hit, pandemic, and they were telling people, the, the cattle ranchers, to destroy their cattle. Why? I can't, I, I can't believe that me, a former gang member, convicted murderer, someone who was a fucking idiot the majority of my life, I can't believe that I am one of the, I'm in the majority that is paying attention to what's going on and worried about it. I, I, I can't believe that that's possible. You know, there's a handful of names that get thrown out there of who's pushing for this whole thing to... Um, have us to where we're no longer self-reliant, self-sufficient, that we have to depend on other people that don't have our best interests at heart. And, 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 and these same people are pushing for modified foods. Modified foods, I believe, are going to have stuff in them that is detrimental to human life, that will shorten the lifespan. Why are we, why are, why are foods being engineered? Because there's too many people on this planet and the planet can't sustain the growth. Like I said, this video is, is unlike anything I've put out on either channel. YouTube doesn't want me to react to videos apparently. So I'm reacting to what's going on around me. And I'm asking you guys, go ahead, get in the comments, call me crazy if you want to. But I hope at some point you'll question what's going on, especially if you're in an area where you see with your own eyes where they grew stuff to feed us and our children. Now they want to house us and our children. You can't eat the damn house. 
So how is it okay? That's my video. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm interested to see the comments. Everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out.